I welcome Carmen to give her heart to heart talk today. I never questioned myself. It was normal. You know, you get, everybody gets married. Everybody gets married and everybody has children. My chairs, all I wanted was another chair at my table. I wanted a family. And then, I wouldn't say anything. I would even do a treatment and say, oh no, 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 we're, we're resting. And I'd stop showing <coughs> and keeping things to myself. And I started hiding in my own little world with my own pain. Whoever was pregnant, I would immediately notice who was pregnant. Children, they would outstand. I would, I would notice them immediately. And I felt jealous. I felt jealous. I felt jealous of a poor lady with children in the street. Why not me? I became obsessed. I wanted to have a child. I was in my own world, like locked up, when you chain yourself. My mistake was that I had based my happiness on a child. Whenever I have this child, then that day, I will be happy. But it's important to find your happiness today with what you have today, with who you have beside you, and not base your happiness on something you do not have. And this is what I did then. I was in my world, and it was, I don't have a child. I cannot be happy. And I would feed myself with this unhappiness of not having a child. I was always waiting, waiting for a new cycle, waiting for result, waiting to have money for children. I wanted to know the future. I wanted to know what decision was I going to make today to take a shortcut to my child and not take this path and continue waiting. Waiting and wait. How do I get there? <coughs> it is not through doctors. Could someone please show me the other way? The bridge falls down. I would have treatments done and I will get pregnant for a few months and then I would lose it. My husband and I together waiting. The child, one month, another month, there are only nine months. There are only nine steps. We're not going anywhere. Please continue growing and come into our life and just be born. Why is it so difficult? Each time the doctor said, okay, you're pregnant. Oh, okay. Rest. But I would exaggerate. I mean, I really wouldn't move. I didn't want to go to the bathroom because I smile, yes. Because you go to the bathroom and you're afraid if you push too hard you're going to lose your baby. All the injections. This is me, my bottom, the blood test, the ultrasound, the clinics for what I cried. Even though maybe I didn't cry it physically, emotionally I cried. Here, the tiles, sometimes things are alright. Then things happen that hurt. Then you're alright and you're confused. And you have this cycle around your I started body. working on myself. It was like getting to know myself. Well, what do I like doing? I had spent so many years just obsessed with having a baby, focusing my life on having a baby. What do I like doing? You know, I had like forgotten myself somewhere along the way. Started noticing what I had around me. And I noticed that I was surrounded by lots of people who loved me and cared for me. These are the hummingbirds. And I noticed I was a very lucky person, that everything I did, I was lucky in the things I did, and the people around me and everything. But yet, though everything around me was beautiful, I inside had my sorrow, and I cried inside. But I only started working on myself. I believe that in these sad periods of infertility, it was like darkness. There's a saying that says, after the most darkest moment of the night, the sun always comes out. And you have to open up towards this. And this tiny, weeny, minute, itsy bitsy ray of light comes in. You have to open up so the light comes in. And then each time more comes in and more comes in. And get out of this whipping yourself and closing yourself in this sadness, but opening up. And finally I kept on asking, why me? I would ask this question always, 
why me of not having control? You can control if you buy a new house. You can control if you want to move or change your job. But you can't control having a baby, so this causes frustration. But yet, you can go to the right place. You can investigate. You can make decisions, but well-informed decisions. And not let time fly away from your hands. <coughs> Here, I was walking along and this path was causing pain. It's important to change your attitude towards things. To be positive, to value what you have. One has to flow in life. There's a river, there's a light at the end, and you must flow. There's a willow tree, a problem. We must face our problems and accept them. Many times, all things we don't know, adoption, egg donation, sperm donation, surrogate mother, when we don't know about things, these things cause us fear. So we must find out and be informed. And once you know, you can make your decisions. But being informed, everyone feels fear of things you don't know. So it's important to be informed. Every event has a purpose and every setback its lesson. I have realized that failure, whether personal, professional or even spiritual kind, is essential to personal expansion. It brings inner growth and a whole host of psychic rewards. Never regret your past, Listen. Never regret your past. Rather embrace it as a teacher it is. We all have lessons to learn. We all grow with everything that happens to us. We must not see all the bad as bad. We must look at the good things and get our strength to push our lilies as we go along. <coughs>